It's Friday, July 10th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Weaning, Maturity 101, and our scripture is Psalm 131. Lord, my heart is not proud, my eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with matters too great or too awesome for me to grasp. Instead, I've calmed and quieted myself like a weaned child who no longer cries for its mother's milk. Yes, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, now and always. The simplicity of calmness is something less practiced than wished for. and We're our own worst enemy in this more than not. Today's culture teaches us to be action junkies with TV cameras unable to stay focused on a single view longer than one or two seconds, jumping from here and there. There's more adult attention deficit disorder than calmness because excitement is, well, more exciting than calmness. From roller coasters to skydiving, we want the next biggest rush, an app that promises a better game, a more shiny bauble, or most fun relationship. When it comes to the entertainment industry, action movies or anything fast-paced is much more likely to be a box office hit than a documentary on the mating habits of snails. Is it any wonder our heroes are more apt to be professional athletes, movie stars, or those who produce the glitter? It even invades the church. A friend who is a pastor of a large church in Florida once confided that his main goal as this prominent church's leader was to put a roof over their 19 acres. If bigger was better, it was go large, go fast, go higher and wider, or go home. It almost cost him his family and his health by the time he realized that his push for the top was digging the health of his body and soul into a pit. A day hardly passes when I'm free of the thought of how those involved in the push for higher, more, faster, riskier, or stronger are rarely satisfied with anything. And the end of it is, as Solomon found out, empty. Everything is wearisome beyond description. No matter how much we see, we are never satisfied. No matter how much we hear, We are not content. When is it that we ever learn how to be quiet and calm, weaned off of hype, mature? The answer to that question is what the psalmist found out. We are able to be content when our trust is in God and we've agreed to be weaned, just like a child finally comes to peace with starting to eat on his own rather than nurse. It's the opposite direction from the Peter Pan syndrome. I won't grow up. Not me. No, sir. So, can you really have it? Can you live in 2020 unplugged, unhurried, uncharged, and not unhinged by the hype? I believe that is possible. It's possible only with an intentional step of faith, similar to the teamwork exercise where one person stands in front of another, arms crossed, and then falls backward, trusting the other person to catch him. Truth be told, that feels like suicide, jumping off a cliff. But it is the one way to develop trust between peers. That is, if the person behind does his job. Otherwise, it's back to trusting only self. In the calmness of soul we seek, no other human can provide that. It's only when we fall into the arms of God that real calmness of soul happens. It's called weaning off the hype of activity by choosing to fall into the health of God's loving embrace. It really is a leap of faith. Let's pray together. Father, if there's one thing every soul craves, it isn't a higher high or a more dizzying ride, glitz, glamour, or gold. That's all the stuff our carnal nature craves. As spiritual children, we need to be weaned from that. What mature believers really crave is calmness within. Help us to fall into your arms, away from the drive for more stuff that's fading and empty. For you today... Sometimes, no, always, people who are reaching for that next brass ring must fall flat on their face in their push for more. It's part of the weaning process. If you or someone you love is being weaned, 
Go on and hurt for them. Pray for them. Trust for them that God has this. Maturity doesn't come with time. It comes when we learn to fall into God's arms when there's nowhere else to fall. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.